Hello. Welcome to J Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live, coming to you from Meadow Mill in Hamden. Tell us about your weekend plans in the comments field below. Like, share, and follow at hashtag J Moore Weekend. I'm Amanda. This is Simone. We are sorry we're late. We are having some technical difficulties, <laughs> but uh, we're here now. Yeah. And we want to talk to you all about the weekend because we need distractions. So, Simone, <laughs> what are you into this weekend? Well, I am actually, um, tonight I'm going to try Bottega. I've never been there oh, before. Excellent. Yeah, so I'm, I'm having some dinner with some friends. Um, and then there's actually a lot of things on our weekend agenda calendar that I'm interested in right. going it's a to. Good weekend. Um, it's a and pool. also, I hear, I don't believe it, but I heard that maybe we would see some sunshine this weekend. I heard it too. It's I see it right now through the little yeah. window. I it, mean, it's happening. I can't believe that it could last, but um, I think if it does, I think it, we should get outside because I think this, this may be it. the last that we'll see of <laughs> sunshine or any other good things oh, in the okay. you know, world <laughs> until. Until what? Uh, November elections? Uh, I, I don't have much hope for that either, but maybe. <laughs> um, anyways, so there's a lot of good stuff going on. There is. How so about you? I'm going to do my favorite form of escapism, which is hiding in the movie theater. Uh -huh. um, I do. I want to hang out at uh, Belvedere Square tonight. So that, oh, nice. that limits me to life itself, Juliet naked, and I hate to say this out loud, but Crazy Rich Asians, my friend Scott, it's his birthday. He wants to see that. I heard it's good. I, I'm having a hard time believing it. But, I know. But I might I as well just see it to get get through that and figure it out. Figure out if it really is that great. Um, so I'll probably see that. And then we'll eat somewhere at Belvedere. I, I love like Belvedere. Pizza. I like yeah. the new pizza place. Um, I always like a burger. Yeah. Like Clark burger. Yeah. I like yeah. the wine at Grand Cru. Me too. I, <laughs> I love that options place. options will work. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's tonight. And then, of course, Sunday, I've got to watch the Steeler Ravens game. Um, but I, I want to try to figure out something really good to make. Um, I have a new tiny oven, which I've, I think I've complained about before. No, <laughs> I haven't heard oven. you, but okay. It's a tiny oven and like my regular sheet pan doesn't even fit in there, oh, wow. which I discovered in like this disastrous day. Last Sunday, I tried to make food for a friend and oh. like the smoke detector went off. Uh -huh. the <laughs> everything was burnt. I don't know how to operate this tiny oven. switch with you because I never use the oven. You, we should switch, but I don't even have any place for a regular size. I mean, it's just bad. Uh -huh. So, and then I gave, yeah, the test run didn't go well. I need to, I think maybe I'll stick to the um, stovetop. Yeah. So anything I can make on top of said. Right. <laughs> I also work. have like a giant toaster oven. Oh. I use that most that, of the time that's, for myself. That's, good. that's probably better than this tiny oven. Yeah. Um, all right. So <laughs> there's a ton, like you said, there's a ton of stuff. Yeah. Which is good because we want to get out and do everything. So what's happening? Right. So um, all weekend long, the Baltimore Book Festival at the Inner Harbor is going on. So you can meet authors, join discussions, listen to readings at Baltimore's annual celebration of everything literary. Uh, so as I said, all weekend, and that's from 11 to 7. And that's a great event. It is. And you can look for me. And event coordinator Kelly Chase, we're going to be at the Inner Harbor stage at four. And um, I'm introducing author Moriel Rothman Zecker, who wrote Sadness is a White Bird. Um, so come come see that. Come yeah. see Moriel. And we will have magazines with us. So be sure to stop by and pick one up and say hi. Yeah. Go see Amanda. I remember last <laughs> year it was like 100 degrees i don't i definitely didn't go i, I don't think i, I haven't didn't. been since it left mount vernon okay well i was there last year it was 100 degrees it was still fun but i think it'll be a lot more pleasant it'll be nice out i think yeah. Do, i have a really horrendous book fest story do you want me to share sure is today a good day to share that i, I <laughs> so i don't know we were trying to so keep our spirits it, up it, it did used to be in, well everyone will laugh at me i can provide comic relief if okay. that's what the country needs right now <laughs> um <laughs> so it used to be in Mount Vernon, and I used to work at the Sun, so I would get I got to my shift early so that I could go to Bookfest. So I walked up Center Street or Monument Street, um, and like I made the rounds. I hit all the booths. I did some shopping. I got in one line and got something to eat. I got in another line and got iced coffee. Like I was there for a while, and I was like very visible. Then I walked back down the hill, walked into the office, and a friend of mine came up behind me and like stood very much like right behind me. And I was like, 
what are you doing? And she's like, you need a sweatshirt and you need to go to the bathroom. And I was like, what? So I go in the bathroom and basically my entire pants were ripped. <gasps> so I walked around book past mooning oh everyone. And then I walked into my office and did the same thing. Oh, dear. And nobody ever said a word. Ever. Like all of book fest. So... Come see me this weekend. I will actually have clothing on. It'll be a success, I'm sure. <laughs> so anyway, that's there. Maybe you should bring an extra pair just in case. <laughs> in case I somehow rip my entire pair. Like, I don't even know what happened or how I did that, but <laughs> it happened. It's a pretty good story. Yeah, All right. it's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So what else is going on? All right. So um, Keep going. let's see. Ah. Oh, it's also Comic Con weekend at the Comic-Con. Baltimore Convention Center. Yay. So you can enjoy three star studded days of comic related fun, including special guest appearance by the legendary Frank Miller on nice. Saturday and Sunday, as well as more than a hundred of the top names in the industry. There'll also be autograph sessions with Mike Coulter, who plays Luke Cage mm, in Star Trek him. The Next Generation's Will Wheaton. Who's very funny. Buck Rogers in the 25th Century's Aaron Gray and Twin Peaks Sherilyn Fenn. Awesome. I know. That's a really good lineup. Why Twin Peaks? Do they have a comic? Um, well, she's doing, she's something else. She's some superhero thing, isn't oh, she? Oh, okay. She is. She's something else. Okay. Um, anyway, the hours are today from 1 to 7, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Nice. Um, also... Star Wars, A New Hope, in concert at the Meyerhoff. The BSO performs John Williams' Oscar-winning score set to the film. And that's Friday at 7.30, Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. Okay. If you are just joining us, you are watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Tell us what you're doing this weekend in the comments field below. Like, share, and follow at hashtag Jay Moore Weekend. What's happening tonight and tomorrow? So tonight and tomorrow, um, the Baltimore Japan Art Festival is at Station North. The festival and the Maryland Institute College of Art welcome illustrator, Yus- I hope I say this right, Yuseki Nakamura. I like it. For a lecture and Q&A. There'll be film selections from the New York Japan Cinefest and a traditional Japanese festival with games, music, and local vendors. Events take place tonight starting at 8 p.m. and tomorrow starting at 11 a.m. Um, a friend of mine, Rick, uh, Rob Perry, is one of the programmers or whatever he's he's working on the event so i wish him a lot of luck it sounds really cool yeah it does sound cool yeah. um of course there's a beer event going on that's good on we, saturday we as usual without one of those so, maryland microbrewery festival at union mills homestead nice celebrate the best of maryland's handcrafted and distinctive micro micro brews mm. 11 a.m to 6 p.m all ages rain or shine I, I don't think that means all ages drinking beer probably not no they just allowed to go yeah they okay. have to have a wristband or whatever okay so sunday the big ice oh this is a really good one yeah it the is. big ice cream social at the why not lot hosted by ben and jerry's and taharka brothers this event includes music local food trucks a speaker series and free ice cream and Ben Cohen, co-founder of Ben and Jerry's, will give a keynote talk on social justice. That's from noon to five. That's another one that I kind of want to go to. That's awesome. And yeah. we will be there. We'll be yes. present. Natalie um, will be Natalie, our it. intern, is going to be yeah. there. And and uh, so look on social media for pictures and stuff from that. But yeah, you should totally go. And I heard a rumor that Jerry also might show up, but that's not confirmed. Ooh. But it's a, it is a great event. Um, yeah. All right. We, speaking of awesome events, are having a JBiz networking event on November 7th at Renaissance Fine Arts in Cross Keys. Um, you want to you wanna get tickets for that and you want to come join us because we want to hang out with you and we want to, yeah. and there's going to be drinks and foods and minglings. Um, so for more information and to get those tickets, go to jmoreliving.com slash JBiz Meetup. Um, I think that's it. You have been watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda. Join us here Fridays at 12.30 for more weekend plans. Follow us at hashtag Jay Moore Weekend. Find more events at jmoreliving.com slash events. Tune in on Thursdays at 12.30 for This Week in Baltimore Eating and join the foodie discussion. Have a great weekend. Hope we cheered you up. <laughs>